the front line of both the prevention and the consequences nationwide are the Garda Roads policing units. Whilst 2021 saw the lowest number of road deaths in Ireland since records began, the numbers so far for 2022 are higher than they were this time last year. Okay. And let's not forget that for every road death, almost nine serious injuries occur on Irish roads. Over 3,300 Irish drivers were arrested for drug driving in 2021, with nearly 800 arrested in the first three months alone of 2022. Myself and Deirdre were carrying out a speed check. We detected a speed, the speed limit there is 100. It's a very wet day, the surface is very, very wet, making it very difficult for driving as well and dangerous. He tested positive for cocaine. If he wasn't speeding, he would have driven past us. We'd have no reason to stop him. You know, so that's the reality of it as well, absolutely. People are tested for drugs and alcohol when they're stopped. And their license is checked, everything is checked. With the blood sample taken by a doctor now being sent off for analysis, this young driver will have to wait and see if he faces a potential driving ban, a heavy fine, and a possible custodial sentence. Deirdre and Dave are back on active duty across Kildare. Just stopping you for speeding, okay? This is a 50 kilometre an hour area and you're doing 75 in the 50, so you're 25 kilometres over. One driver is detected travelling far in excess of the speed limit, so much so that they fail to notice the speed check. drove past our location uh, doing 82 kilometres an hour. That's a 50 kilometre an hour speed limit zone. During my time with Nace Roads Policing, I saw Deirdre and Dave deal with the smorgasbord of road traffic offences, most resulting in fines and penalty points. One of the biggest problems you're saying? Speeding is a huge thing. Yeah. I would say, actually, inappropriate speeding on roads. By that, I mean driving at a speed, an unsafe speed on a backcountry road where the speed limit could be 80 kilometres an hour, but to drive at 80 kilometres an hour around a blind bend or a bad bend or over a humpback bridge, um, it's just simply not safe. And if you're going around a bend, you don't know what's around the bend. You have to expect the unexpected. And what about our old pal, the mobile phone? Oh, don't Absolutely. talk to the mobile phone. Really? Yeah. Yes, that's definitely. Blue it's completely distracting. You take your eyes off the road for a couple of seconds and you're going to miss that cyclist or that pedestrian and especially on a dark road, you're going to miss an awful lot and it just leaves an awful lot of chance. Tiredness is a huge thing as well as uh, drink and drug driving. Tiredness is a big thing on the road as well. Most motorists are, are, yeah. are law-abiding. Anyone, you know, that we stop, they're, they're nice, decent yes. people. Yeah. You know, the people that are speeding are nice, decent Absolutely. people. The people on the phones are nice. De these are not massive criminals we're talking about. Yeah. Unfortunately, nice, You've decent people news. can cause very, very serious situations, you know? Yeah. 